What up? It's your boy King Dow 225 coming at you with another reactionary video. And today, this might trigger this might trigger people what I'm about to say cuz I might get a tad bit disrespectful cuz I'm goddamn triggered. This is the question that Kevin Samuel has been posing. One of the many questions is why are black men leaving the church? Uh, his answer, response is because they cater to females. There's more estrogen in the church than ever before. They run the church. They tell every woman they what they want to hear to get what they want. This is going to trigger me because I have a strong opinion about religion. Especially, particularly with my background. My great-grandfather was a pastor. My grandfather, the Reverend James Henry Pitt Sr., one of the greatest men in my life that I have ever known, was a pastor. They even said I was going to be a pastor at one point. But this is the kind of shit that pisses me off with the church and these charlatan-ass pastors and preachers and priests out here faking a funk gonna lead their congregation to hell pastor claimed jesus hasn't returned because people are not donating enough money you heard what the hell i just said the rapture ain't coming fast enough because y'all ain't giving me enough money the evangelical pastor jesse duplessis made the claim during a recent four-day victory thon event on the victory channel they got their own channel. You hear me? If this ain't about money, I don't know what it is. All these niggas is trash. Let's get to the video. I honestly believe this, that the reason why Jesus hadn't come is because people are not giving the way God told them to give. Pause. That's, that nigga the devil. I'm making that claim right now. That nigga the devil. Listen what he just said. I'm going to play it again for you. Then I'm gonna break down what he just said. I honestly believe this that the reason why Jesus hadn't come is because people are not giving the way God told them to give. So he just said to all the religious people out there that the rapture ain't coming fast enough because you're not feeding into my greed. So if you give into my greed, Armageddon will come faster and all everybody will die quicker. That's exactly what he just said. In order for I'm getting or the rapture to approach faster, you got to give me some money. If that's not some greedy devilish shit, I don't know what it is. You see what I'm saying? I mean, when you understand, it, you can speed up the time. I was on television. He said, I heard you was a millionaire. I said, that's not right. That's not true. He said, yes, it is. I said, no, it's not. Multi. Now, add that to it, you'll be all right. <laughs> oh, he couldn't handle that. He liked to have had a fit. And I said, you mess with me, I'll buy this station. You know, my fucking yeah. Boy, he didn't like that, did he? Did he? Uh, you know, that was a little fleshy, but it felt good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Just did. Y'all think it's cute that a, a man of the cloth is bragging about his wealth and all the other men of the cloth up there who are wealthy men from y'all pockets from this long con that religion represents like i'm not i'm i'm not trying to paint all religion as, they have some good people out there it's about people they have good people who who are committed to the community and their congregation and they flop these prosperity ass pastors ain't what's up bro i know more pastors or preachers that are probably fucking, probably fucking their congregation right now, getting them pregnant, more than I know the good righteous ones who are there because it's a true calling and not because they decided it was a tax write-off and I can get a lot of money off of this. <laughs> so I realize that I will not move people emotionally yeah. to give. Right. No. I'm going to have people move according to the word of God. What is God saying to you? And I really believe this. If people would call this number and put this victory all over the world on every available voice, every available outlet, God, the Father, he would say, Jesus, go get him. Yeah. Because you see, he wants to see us as much as we want to see him. You see what I'm saying? And so what has hindered all these things is, uh, uh, is because people are not doing in the financial realm, because we live in an economic world, what God's called them to do. 
you know, he's called us to do that. So I don't have a problem. The lady in the background shaking her head like, I can't believe this this devil up here saying this shit. Look at her. Look at her background. People are not doing in the financial realm because we're living in an economic world what God's called them to do. You know, he's called us to do that. So I don't have a problem with giving. I don't have a problem with receiving. It, it doesn't make any difference. Because I just made up my mind. I want Jesus to come. Now, uh, they said, do you own a jet? Yes. You can have it the day after the rapture. It's yours. Why well, can't have it today? You say you like to give, but you like to receive. Well, here you talking about trying to receive. The people ain't giving enough. That's why Jesus ain't. Oh my God, this is just so wrong. It ain't funny, bro. And people gonna get in their feelings. They gonna get in the comment section and say all oh, this and that. And it was just clear. That's my pastor. But man, if y'all want to defend this, that's the issue with the church. I have a lot of issues with the church. And don't get me wrong. I feel like that church is the church is absolutely needed. It is a necessity. Everybody should. Learn God, get to know God, find out about God. And the best way through that is through the church. But after a certain amount of time, you start seeing the hypocrisy, the bullshit within religion, like shit like this. Money, 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 money. I know some pastors. This is just locally. This ain't on no national stage. This is just locally in Baton Rouge. They want your W-2. They got ATMs in the damn church. They taking Venmo, Cash App, PayPal. Bring your check stub. Like, you serious? Is, is that serious? But I don't see none of them people out there ministering to the youth, trying to help help with the, the, the gun violence in the black community. All the other shit they stay away from, but they still be on that gay shit, though, that all. Oh, fuck a gay person. But y'all want my money, though. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this video. Am I being a little too sensitive? Like, I don't know my mama see this video. She gonna be like, oh, there you go. There go that heathen again. Mama, I believe in God. I do. I just think it's some bullshit that religion got everybody thinking the only way you can find God is through them. They're a fucking bunch of thugs. You hear me? That is That sounds like the monop a monopoly, the mafia. The only way you can get to God is you got to come to us. Nah, son. Nah. I firmly believe that 90% when the rapture comes, 90% of the people in churches and these people leading these congregations is not going to end up how you think it was going to end. You're going to realize that you spent a large majority of your life believing and following bullshit. Open your eyes, bro. Really read that Bible. Really do your research. And again, this is the dude who history is like my religion run deep in my family from the AME church. And anybody know the history of AME church? This is the first church that was created off race and not faith. They felt like black people wasn't represented enough in the church. The fact that they even had to create a black person on church, it just it just weird religion. Like God teaches you to treat every man accordingly, but then they use the Bible to for slavery. Oh, it's right. You know, we chose the people, we have a right to have slaves. So I always looked at religion fucking sideways. Not God, just religion. Because religion is man-made run by the patriarchy. And look, this is what the patriarchy rep represents. Look, I don't see no black people on the stage. Just Jesus. all wealthy white people. The men. reason why Jesus hadn't come is because people are not giving the way God told oh them to give. Mm. You see what it's, I'm saying? I feel like I, mean, I, feel like I got to go take a you shower. You speed up the time. I was on television. He said, I heard you was a millionaire. I said, that's not right. That's not true. He said, yes, it is. I said, no, it's not. Multi. 
Now add that to it, and you'll be all right. <laughs> oh, he couldn't handle that. He liked to have had a fit. And I said, like you the raise him, I want bop him in his mouth. You know, that was a little fleshy, but it felt good. How dare you mislead <laughs> people like this? <laughs> Did, you know what I'm saying? So I realized that I will not move the arrogance, the ego. I'm going to have people move according to the word of God. What is God saying to you? And I really believe this. What he saying if to you? People would call this number. Take that ugly and ass suit off. Picture all over the world on every available voice, every available outlet. God, the father, he would say, Jesus, go get him. Yeah. Because you see, he wants to see us as much as we want to see him. You see what I'm saying? And so what has hindered all these things is, uh, uh, it's because people are not doing in the financial realm, because we live in an economic world, what God's called them to do. You know, he's called us to do that. So I don't have a problem with giving. I don't have a problem with receiving. It, it doesn't make any difference. Because I just made up my mind, I want Jesus to come. Now, uh, they said, do you own a jet? Yes. You can have it the day after the rapture. It's yours. Because jet. Uh, that what the devil said. He said, if you want Jesus to come back quicker, you got to go and donate to him. So if y'all want all this thing gone, donate into this devil pocket. This your boy, King Down 225 with another reactionary video. Hit that like and subscribe and become part of the kingdom. This is just fucking disgusting. Stop using the Lord's name in vain, please.